Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well on this great Saturday afternoon. Uh, this is going to be a short video. I'm just going to show you this uh, cassette deck that I've recently acquired through a friend of mine who is an audiophile himself. Now I consider myself pretty lucky because I live in the proximity of another audiophile who likes to collect audio equipment and as a side hustle I think sometimes he buys and sells hi-fi equipment and the other day he rang me up and said well he's got this uh, beautiful cassette deck by Sansui for sale which is a direct drive system and it doesn't have the piano keys and uh, it's got good build quality and I said yes so I went and checked it out and uh, I absolutely loved it now I gotta tell you that I have another cassette deck that's made by JVC but that's a belt drive system and it's got the piano keys and it's just falling apart and uh, I think twice over the past few years I've had to replace the belt on that so with this, this is something that's really going to stand the test of time. I don't have to worry about replacing the belts. It's a direct drive system and it's a three head cassette deck. So it gives you the ability to monitor the music as, as it's being recorded onto the cassettes. Now, excellent build quality, all made out of metal. All these buttons have some weight to them. I don't know, it just gives me a lot of joy and pleasure just to play around with these knobs, you know. Uh, yeah, no piano keys. Everything is pretty nice and responsive. Of course, I can't play you any music because I'll get flagged for uh, having played copyrighted material. But everything functions just beautifully. And uh, the, the sound when it functions is a bit loud, but it's, uh, it's acceptable, you know, and that's not something that annoys me. Uh, I gotta tell you that this has the ability to play all the, uh, the usual suspects when it comes to hi-fi playback, when it comes to audio cassettes. It can do uh, just a normal ferro tape. It can do uh, the chrome tape, the type 2. It can also do metal. Now, I've owned uh, actually the uh, normal, which is the, the ferro and the chrome. I've never owned the metal tape. Or I should say I never owned pre-recorded music onto metal tape or I've never recorded any music onto metal tape myself. So I'm not exactly sure how it sounds, but something to play around with. Uh, something I'm looking forward to uh, get my hands on. Maybe one of these days I'll purchase a metal cassette, record one of my favorite albums off of a vinyl onto that and see how it sounds. But the general consensus is that the metal tape uh, sounds superior to its chrome and ferro counterparts. Now, as I said, the build quality is excellent. Uh, it's got the beautiful view meter. Let me play, uh, just move a little bit forward. And it's got the beautiful view meter. When you turn off the lights, you can see that. Uh, so it's like a showpiece, you know, it's something nice that you just put on display and uh, have fun with it. Now, the other day uh, I recorded uh, one of my most favorite albums of all time, Porcupine Trees, The Incident, onto this uh, great tape. This is a uh, TDK, just normal bias, but it's a 90 minute tape. And uh, the sound quality is just fantastic out of this. Uh, of course, this is the, uh, the tape when it's brand new. Let me show you that. So TDK, normal position type one D90. And uh, I bought a pack of these, uh, I think six of these for like $15, which is a bargain compared to what you would be paying on eBay actually. So what I prefer to do is to uh, go on Craigslist or Facebook market sometimes and uh, actually buy these from a local seller. I don't have to pay for shipping. I don't have to pay taxes on these. I can just drive to the location uh, and just pick these up for uh, sometimes next to nothing. Now you can also buy brand new blank tapes from Amazon. Uh, these are the Maxell. I think you get a bunch of these for like $20. And these sound okay, but the, uh, the sound quality I'm noticing out of this is a bit superior to that. I mean, it may be entirely, maybe placebo or maybe entirely subjective, but I don't know, it's just the looks of these is nice. And I think the sound quality to me is a little bit different. They sound slightly superior to the Maxell, but I don't know, I haven't been able to objectively prove that to myself. So I got access to all these uh, just beautiful uh, tapes. And 
I gotta say the reason you listen to cassette is not because of the sound quality. Now, it's uh, objectively true that the CDs have better dynamic range, they have better fidelity, finesse, but there is something kind of magical about vinyl and cassettes and you know, playing back analog music on your system. Uh, that something that really attracts me to them. Now, with the cassette, it's just uh, the fact that you establish some sort of a tangible relationship with the music that you want to listen to with the medium that's going to play back the music for you. And uh, just looking at it, I don't know, is a bit kind of hypnotizing and uh, takes me back to my childhood. Now, I grew up in the 90s. That was a time that you know cassettes uh, were still a thing and people were still buying cassettes for listening to music. And I remember I used to spend a lot of my pocket money on classical music uh, recorded onto cassettes and used to get a lot of joy out of them. So it kind of brings, takes me back to my childhood and uh, brings back just good and beautiful memories. Now, the general consensus is that the, uh, the pre-recorded music onto cassette doesn't sound as good as the music that you record yourself onto the cassette tapes. But some of these music I have, uh, they sound actually pretty good. And uh, one, one good example, one prominent example is this Dark Side of the Moon cassette. And this actually is pretty high fidelity. And uh, I think to some extent it does compare a little bit to the CD. Now I got this album on cassette, I got it on vinyl, I've got it on uh, CD and I got it on SACD. Now I gotta say something about SACD uh, in my system the sound is uh, indifferent. Uh, the sound is pretty much identical to what you get out of uh, just a normal CD. Now, people have told me that your system has to be transparent enough in order for you to enjoy the, uh, the sound quality of SACD, uh, which is the same as uh, a DST file that you would download from a streaming service. But I gotta say, I haven't noticed any difference. And to say that your system is not transparent enough to me sounds a bit vague because uh, how do you define a system that is transparent. Are there certain requirements that you have to fulfill? Does your system have to meet a certain uh, price point for it to rise to the dignity of being transparent? So nobody has been able to ans answer that to me successfully. And uh, that's what I hear from a lot of people. They say, oh yeah, you know, maybe your system isn't uh, good enough and uh, is you know, hardly adequate for playing uh, you know, high fidelity music like DST or MQA. But they haven't, I, I don't know, I, I can't find a convincing enough argument to say to myself that my system is deficient in some ways, that I have to improve that to get the joy out of a DST file or a SACD. So, so for me, SACD is just out of the question. I'm not interested. But I got to say, uh, this sounds pretty comparable to uh, the vinyl version and the CD version. Now, each one sounds a little bit different. But that's the reason that we listen to all these different formats, because we crave that unique touch that each medium adds to the music. Like I said, it has its own sound associated with the recording. And I got to say, uh, I, I actually dig the, the hissing in the background. And somebody said once, uh, the people that complain about the background noise in the music, that life itself has background noise. So that's... Uh, that's a pretty convincing argument in favor of cassettes and vinyl. So I love the hissing sound that you get out of these. And uh, that's why I listen to cassettes. As I said, it's just the fact that you kind of sit back, you listen to the music, and uh, you see these, uh, the, uh, the flywheels kind of rotating, revolving, and they play the music for you. I, I get a lot of joy out of that. So I'm going to share with you uh, some of these other pre-recorded music I have. Got a um, huge Jethro Tull, Progressive Rock fans. This is Jethro Tull's Aqualung. Sounds pretty good. I got two copies actually. Uh, this is Songs from the Wood. Now the one that sounds pretty good is... Uh, I have also I have Thick as a Brick, which is uh, basically one song that goes on for 40 some minutes, 44, 45 minutes. This is one of the most definitive uh, prog rock albums by Jethro Tull. Uh, got a collection of uh, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Um, and one thing is, what you'll notice is uh, it's got a price of $3, but I got this in sale, 50% off, so I got all these uh, three ELO's uh, cassette albums uh, for like $4.50. Uh, 
which is pretty good actually. Some of these can turn into collectible items in the future. This is pre-recorded music, recorded onto just uh, ferro, normal tape, beautiful albums by ELO. Uh, but one of them actually sounds pretty good is, uh, is this Crest of a Knave by Jethro Tull. And it's recorded, uh, of course, the, uh, the case actually uh, kind of falling apart. I dropped it the other day. But what's nice about it is uh, this one is recorded onto a chrome tape. And it says so. And this sounds uh, pretty nice, actually. It sounds comparable to the CD version. Yeah, so if you're interested in uh, playing back a set, it's not something that you have to be ashamed of it, you don't have to be embarrassed by it. Uh, there are a lot of audiophiles who still play cassettes and uh, I'm actually looking forward to uh, learn more about this and I'll probably in the future make a video, just review this in details and tell you exactly what these knobs and all, all the buttons do and so on and so forth. Yeah, so if you care about analog audio, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. I have more interesting content to come in the future. And uh, have a great weekend. Take care. Bye and see you next time.